Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're up for another adventure today. No, it's just me. My wife's uh, headed to Washington State for, uh, I don't know, four or five days or something like that. But I'm here, uh, so I'm doing a solo trip. Um, uh, we're at the Wilson Creek Trailhead here in, in Idaho and the Waihee Mountains. And uh, I'm going to be doing a trail called the Hard Trigger Trail. Never done it before. So it's pretty easy. I know I said that about the uh, <laughs> last two that we went on and it didn't turn out that well. Um, but this one's supposed to be pretty easy, more of a scenic type of thing. Maybe a few obstacles here and there that might be a little tough, but I don't think it's anything that's going to be bad. So um, I'm surprised that there's like not very many people here. Usually there's like quite a few and there's not today maybe it's because of the weather a little bit cooler today so um, we're gonna get the truck unloaded I am anyway why it's not here and uh, we're gonna take off down this trail here it's gonna head up that way somewhere anyway I think it's uh I think it's like nine miles long or something and uh, I'm gonna see some wild horses again I've only seen one the whole time we've been out here um, so We'll see what happens. Let's get this thing unloaded. Smelling antifreeze. Guess I better pull over up here somewhere and find out <clears throat> what's going on under there. I just did a coolant flush on this and uh, replaced uh, a few things, and maybe it's just a loose, loose clamp or something. So get up here and get pulled over and find out what's going on. So I'm smelling antifreeze and. I'm not seeing anything. There's nothing dripping. I had a problem with this right here, this going in here. This is all brand new. Um, it's a, just a, a fan temperature control. It turns the fan on when, uh, when it gets hot enough and it shuts off. Um, but this is a brand new hose. And then when I put this inside of it and tighten it up, it seemed to just keep leaking underneath the hose. There ain't nothing there. Now when I left, I thought I saw a little bit of coolant dripping down under here well, there ain't nothing coming out of there anymore I don't know maybe there must have been a little bit of residual uh, coolant down underneath the uh, you know the lip of the radiator there it finally just started coming out but all I, I just smell it it's not coming out anymore so I don't know if hopefully that smell goes away because it's not very good it's very uh, not very close as well. So, all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna continue on. We're heading up that trail there. I have no idea where it goes. I know that there's quite a few tra trails that uh, that take off from this. So, um, if it, they look like they're worth it, we're gonna go try them out and, and see what they got out here. So, let's get it.
Okay, so <laughs> it's, I don't know why things like this happen, but you know, there's quite a few people up here that ride horses, and uh, so I had to, to to divert and take a different route. Um, I don't know if you call it a route or I'm just kind of see. I started here, and this green section is the trail all the way to the end and turn around and come back. Well, I ran into, whoops, I ran into a bunch of people on horses about here. So I got up to this point um, and it's like I go around them and then if I stop to put cameras out or take the drone out, then they they come around me and, and I go around them. So it's it's kind of annoying. I mean, it's it's cool they're out riding horses and stuff. Um, great, but it just it's too much to have to pay attention to. And I don't like being around a bunch of horses. And if I spook them with the truck or whatever, it's just not going to be good. But there was there was a whole bunch of them. So I'm on this trail now. I don't know where it goes, but I'm going to try it and see. Uh, doesn't look like it goes very far, so I'll probably end up turning around, and come back. Maybe by the time I get back, they will. Uh, um, They'll be done. Turn around, went a different way or, or something. So I decided to turn around. This trail really doesn't go anywhere. Kind of goes down into these, splits off to fields down here, which is kind of boring to me. I'm gonna head back up to, uh, uh, to the hard trigger trail.
this is literally just a road, just a dirt road. I halfway expected the, it to be like a trail. Now we've went from the trail to this bizarre dirt road. It shows that I'm on the right path. I'm hoping it jumps off to another trail somewhere because dirt roads are kind of boring unless you're out overlanding or something, which we plan to do. Probably coming up next spring or summer. Um, it's coming. Hold on a minute. I thought I saw some guards. Looks like a camp spot back there. Let's see if there's any garbage back here. Nice little fire pit. Yep. Time to pick up some garbage. So this is kind of a cool little, cool little camp spot. That is, I don't have enough room to carry that, otherwise I would. Looks like they've been shooting it up. That is what I'm talking about. Can you please stop? We're getting a little sick of cleaning up your trash, so if you could just throw your stuff away, it'd be helpful. Because eventually, it's just gonna get this place shut down, all of it around here. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that agree with me. My wife is one. She uh, is constantly cleaning up people's trash. So you guys could just help out when you're out here on these trails. Clean up your own trash. Let's take a look at the rest of this. Nice little fire pit. Plenty of places to set up camp around here. Kind of like a roundabout. problem with my uh, the satellite grabber thing for my uh, onyx on my tablet and uh, for some reason I made a wrong turn I was trying to figure out if I was on the right trail but I'm not but it just got interesting this is a uh, hell of a little hill climb and I don't mind So this is peace. This is God's country. It's just absolutely peaceful and beautiful up here. If the wind wasn't blowing, it'd be better, but I think that's just what it does up here. I wouldn't know about these trails if it wasn't for uh, a few select people on YouTube. Uh, use Onyx. I ended up getting Onyx off-road. It's just worked amazing. I think they did a, a rebuild on it and it's working just awesome. As long as I can keep my tablet logged into this little thing here I use. Um, it's a little Garmin uh, satellite grabber and I just uh, Bluetooth it into it and it gives me, you know, like a track everywhere I go out here, which is nice. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watch uh, a guy that lives in, in, uh, in Boise, Idaho. He knows these trails really well, like all of these, and I watch him a lot. I've watched every single one of his videos from day one. Um, the channel's called Venture to Rome, and his name is Will. Him and his family, they got amazing equipment. The, the footage that he gets is just top-notch. Everything is just is perfect, and my wife and I, we learn a lot from his ventures out and uh, once we get a, a, an overland rig set up, um, we're gonna do them. He's even got videos on there about uh, um, beginner overlanders, which we will be. Um, you know, we, we do a lot of camping, but we camp in an RV. <laughs> um, but uh, I would highly recommend if, if you're thinking about getting into overlanding or you do overlanding, you wanna learn some spots in Idaho, that man has got the knowledge of all the Idaho trails. Uh, really, really, really good stuff. Um, the way he puts his, uh, his footage together, and, uh, just, it's just amazing. Um, I'll put a link at the bottom to his, uh, his channel. It's uh, Venture to Rome. He's based out of Boise, Idaho. 
and he does a lot of these trails out here. Um, that's how we know all this. Um, you know, we know the areas to go, not to go. Um, the, you know, all the stuff that he's done is just, it's perfect. So head on over, check out his channel. He's not asking me to do this. I don't even know him, I <laughs> just watch his channel. So go check it out, I think you guys will like it. Okay, this is a steep hill and it's a long way up there. But we're gonna do it. So I made it, I guess, kind of to the end. It looks like it heads up that way a little bit more. I think I'm done. Um, the trail on Onyx ends actually right here. So oh, it's windy up here. It's so windy and it's cold. So I can't believe I actually went and put sweats on. It's the middle of summer and I got sweats on, but it is cold up here. It's one of those days where, you know, it's time to bundle up a little bit but um look at this view out here this is amazing i i don't know if you guys could see those deer that were running up running up over the hill over there earlier but um it was like four does or something so i'm gonna uh back i kind of stay set the truck so that the wind is not going to be bothering me as much um going to be there but there's not too much I can do about it. I'm still hungry so I'm going to make me up some lunch and unfortunately we got to go back that way. Mac and cheese, baby. I know everybody likes the jet boil. This is not a jet boil, this is a fire maple. I don't know, it's, it was like probably $75 cheaper, whoops in the jet boil maybe even more um this thing is kind of cool because you can actually control the the uh the flame on it and it comes with two different uh these things so you don't burn your hands and it comes with a you can put this on here and you can cook on it with, with a pan or something um i don't need that super expensive stuff just like my food mountain house is good stuff uh i don't remember the other name of the other stuff but this works just fine for me. Yes, I even brought a measuring cup. Because the last time that my wife and me made this stuff, it ended up being macaroni cheese soup. So, look at that, already boiling. 
just a matter of just, I don't know, like three minutes or something. It's hot. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna get in the truck. I'm gonna turn it around so I can see this beautiful scenery back here. Wait for it to be ready to eat. I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna head back. I'm sitting in the truck while I'm eating because it is cold outside. I had to put my sweatpants on too. I always bring extra. Extra. Uh, well, I lost my other spoon. That's okay. I got another one. So I'm gonna sit here and have my lunch and then, then I'll head back. We'll see, we'll see how this turns out. Hey, lunch is over. It was good. It actually turned out really good, actually. We're gonna get out of here. So uh, hopefully the way back is just as easy and fun as it was coming in here. So um, hang tight, we'll be on our way. People have been running though over that can for how long now? You can just pull over and pick it up. Alright guys, made it back. It was a long day, but it was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment, good or bad, doesn't even matter. Um, I'm done. I'll see you guys on the next trip. Thanks for hanging out with me. And don't forget, leave it better than you found it. Yeah.